now we're gonna put the cartridge here So we need to change the hexane to dichloromethane because this is solvent A, the solvent A is solvent 2 which is B, it's the ethyl acetate. I'll keep it. Right, okay. Then I'm gonna wash the tubes, manual control. I'll start by the mode polar. Here I choose 40 ml because I'm working with 40 ml. I need to pump around 100 ml. I try to prepare my tube here. I need to wait until 100 ml here. Right now, I'll stop it because I pump it around 100 ml. I try to move to the, the less polar, which is the dichloromethane. I wait also 100 ml to be pumped. Here we go. This is my rack tube. I'll take it. Reaches 100 ml. I'll stop it. So the color of silica it seems to be yellow because uh, when I finish usually I wash it with ethyl acetate because if you let the methanol, the methanol can uh, destroy the silica gel. Right here, it's already finished. I'll stop it. Oh, <coughs> the next step will be close manual control we will go to method editor then I try to choose my illusion system it is gradient I will delete all of these points come on okay and uh, I try to make 60 minutes and uh, I am working with an gradient system I'll go to 50 uh, during one hour Right, this is the uh, gradient system. During 60 minutes, I'll go from 0 to 50. The ethyl acetate, I change only. Uh, what else? Uh, right. So the UN, you need to write your sample name. I try to... Uh, oh. This is... Um, it's the chloroform extract. for uh, oh, just three grams then uh, and uh, exists yes I'll choose also the wavelength 
yes I need to change uh, 280 to 366 I'll go go back to method editor and here you can change 366 I'll make it uh, five times.